think it could happen to me. I lost everything. My family home, family photos, family history. All I had, gone up in smoke. A few simple checks around your home will help prevent a major fire, reduce or eliminate hazards. If you do them now, they won't take long and will prevent you becoming a victim or a statistic. If a fire should ignite, get out, stay out and call 999. Make sure your children know what to do in the event of a fire. Get out, stay out and call 999. One of the most effective home safety features is a smoke alarm. This is the type of alarm we recommend. When you turn it over, you will notice that it is sealed. This is because it has a fitted battery which will last for 10 years. Once the battery runs out, the whole alarm needs to be replaced. This type of alarm is designed for deaf people. It is linked to a strobe light which has its own battery supply in case of a power cut. There is a vibrating pad which can easily fit under your pillow in case an alarm should be raised. When choosing a smoke alarm, we recommend that you always select an alarm with the British Kite Standard symbol or with the European CE standard markings. Over half of home fires are caused by cooking accidents. In most homes, the kitchen is where people gather whilst the meal is being prepared. Even the family dogs gather hoping for a crumb or two. It's easy to get distracted by other family members, answer the phone or front door leaving children alone in the kitchen whilst the stove is on. Don't get distracted. If you are, switch off the stove and don't leave children alone in the kitchen when cooking on the hob. Make sure that pan handles don't stick out. Don't leave tea towels or food packaging on the hob and wear appropriate clothes. If it's too loose, it can easily catch fire. Keep dogs out of the kitchen when cooking and make sure the floor is free from trip hazards. Make sure the cooker is switched off when you finish cooking. Take care with electrical leads and appliances and make sure you keep them away from water. Don't put your toaster under a wall-mounted unit and keep it away from curtains and kitchen rolls. Keep the hob and the grill pan clean and free from fat as this could ignite. Remember, alcohol can affect your judgement, so don't drink while cooking. A major cause of kitchen fires are chips being cooked in a chip pan. A safer alternative for doing this is to use a deep fat fryer. Make sure when you buy one it is to British standard and has the kite mark. A few simple checks around your home will help reduce or eliminate hazards. Do them now. They won't take long and will prevent you becoming a victim or a statistic. Six thousand house fires are caused by faulty electrics every year. Faulty appliances, damaged wiring and particularly overloaded sockets can cause problems. Always make sure that any electrical appliance you buy has the British Kite Mark or the European Safety Mark. When using electrical appliances, do not overload the sockets. If you need to use more than one plug per socket, use an individually fused extension lead. Keep an eye out for loose or peeled wiring, scorch marks, hot plugs and sockets, flickering lights and fuses that blow, or circuit breakers that trip for no reason. Unplug appliances when not in use, as this will help to reduce the risk of fire. Always make sure that your furniture has the fire-resistant permanent label. Make sure that furniture, furnishings and clothes are not placed too close to open fires or heaters. If you have an open fire, ensure that you have a fire guard and that the chimney is swept regularly to prevent soot buildup. If you want mood lighting, do not drape fabrics over uplighters. Candles add a great atmosphere to a room, but they do need to be safe. Use a proper holder and place away from materials that could catch fire. Always put candles out when you leave the room. And remember, never leave children alone with lit candles. Should a fire strike, your house will be covered with thick smoke. And it's smoke that kills most people in a fire. What would you do in the event of a fire? How would you escape? Be safe, plan your escape, and make sure all members of the family know what to do and practice it. The best way is your normal way in and out of your house but have a second route planned in case the first one is blocked by fire or smoke. Once your route is planned, make sure it's kept free from clutter. Keep your door and window keys where everyone can easily find them. If all ways out of the property are unsafe, congregate in one room, keep the door closed, 
seal the gap at the bottom, go to the nearest window and call for help as soon as the fire service arrive. Don't tackle fires yourself, leave it to the professionals. Don't worry about your valuables, they may cost you your life. Before you go to bed, do a bedtime check. Close all doors and make sure they fit properly. Turn off and unplug electrical appliances, unless they're designed to stay on, like the freezer. Turn the cooker off. Don't leave the washing machine or tumble dryer on. Turn off heaters and put up a fire guard. Put out candles and cigarettes properly. Use only the recommended ashtrays and don't empty the contents of an ashtray into waste paper bins. Make sure your exits are clear. Keep door and window keys where everyone can find them. If a fire should ignite, get out, stay out and call 999. Make sure your children know what to do in the event of a fire. Get out, stay out and call 999. Wiltshire Fire and Rescue Service is able to provide a home fire safety check in some circumstances. If you think you might fit the criteria, please contact us on 0800 389 7949. If we are unable to help, we can always point you in the right direction. Remember, working smoke detectors save lives.